Hello friends, this is Jasu Bakuhatsu, and welcome back to, I guess, Let's Stop Sucking at uh, Mario Brothers is the name I've decided to go with this series. I, did, I didn't even think of like what I was going to call this series uh, before the first uh, set of uh, attempts, but uh, yeah, I've named it in the interim, so uh, yeah, let's get to work on it. <laughs> so... Uh, I think what, I, what I've really... I've, I think I've been really laying it on, like, super duper heavy with the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog comparisons, which I, I kind of apologize for, but it, it was kind of, you know, the impetus behind most of... It, it's basically kind of, kind of the main reason was why I kind of decided to start this series. Or, I mean, I, I've been meaning to do actually do this for a long time. I'd had the idea to do something like this with the original Super Mario, to do a series like this with the original Super Mario Brothers for a long time. Uh, but it, it, it was like the, that, uh, that discussion about Sonic the Hedgehog where Mario kept coming up uh, was kind of the big thing that kind of drove, reminded me of that idea and maybe decided to that now was a good time for it. While a, a lot of sort of thoughts about the game, this game were kind of fresh in my mind. So, uh, we're going to try to cut back on the Sonic the Hedgehog comparison at the sins at this point and just kind of, you know, focus on the game in itself. But before that, uh, damn, there was one more comparison that I wanted to make, which is one more point I wanted to make about uh, Sonic the Hedgehog as a comparison, or about so something about Son uh, Mario that I, or something that I think Sonic does more, better than Mario, but I, uh, I forget what it was, or some sort of comparison, I don't remember. I'll think of it sometime. If, probably not during this play session, but, uh, you know, sometime. And then I'll be sure to write it down for the, uh, for next time so I don't forget it again. Because, yeah, that's... Because on the other hand, what the hell am I going to talk about as I fail at Mario over and over and over again, other than, you know, other games that I actually like and that are better than this one, like Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Let's just let's just keep on doing that. No, um, and I think the most obvious response to sort of this. God, I'm doing it again. Okay, yeah, maybe just to finish things off. I understand that it's not exactly a fair comparison. I definitely talked about this before. Um, that you know, this is an eight-bit game. It was like the it was like the years and years before Sonic the Hedgehog. It was the one that this is like the earliest 2D platformer. This is the one that kicked everything off. This is like the grandfather of Sonic the Hedgehog in a sense. Like re really, if you think about it, like. Sonic the Hedgehog owes a lot, like the whole concept, like really owes everything to Mario. It's like a whole ton, especially. Maybe I think that was probably the observation I wanted to make was just how much the Sonic games owe to Mario. It's like when you think about it, like what, like the what, what the thing with Mario, the thing that I kind of think kind of distinguishes it as a series is kind of kind of the way Mario controls it's uh it's way more like way heavier and more momentum based than really any game that could, certainly any game that came before and really any game since then i can't think of another game that like controls quite like mario where where it's like you're uh that where it's quite as weighty where, where the controls feel like, even some of the mario like the actual mario games it's like the mario land games on the game boy like don't really have Mario physics, at least not in the same way that, like, you know, the proper mainline Mario games do. And really, when you th when I think about, like, what's the game that's, it's like, I want to get, so you, like, you play Super Mario Brothers, and it's like, cool, th this was nice, I want something like this, with these, this kind of really sort of weighty character with a lot of momentum behind him. And where you have kind of, I mean, I, I, I've complained so much in this, uh, throughout this series so far about how like, little control you have over Mario's state, especially Mario's jumping, compared to Sonic. But, like, compared to other platform games, you kind of have, like, a fair... You have a lot of control, especially compared to games at around this time. Uh, and it's like a... And it's like, you think, like, what's another kind of momentum-based platformer? Where it's like, you know, you're jumping on enemies, and it's like, kind of... Like a, like a mascot platformer with, like, this neat character that's like kind of I don't know I, I don't know do, do really people really give a shit about the Mario as a character though it's like that I don't feel like Nintendo ever really pushed like Mario as like as like a character for like people to relate to or as like as a personality or anything I guess I guess that's not entirely true they had the cartoon show and all that 
Which, I guess... But really, I don't really view that... Like, I doubt that Nintendo had much to do with the production of that show. Although I could be wrong. It's kind of an inter interest... Maybe an interesting topic to research at some point. Oh, that's right. I gotta hit, like, every frickin' brick. At one, at one of these times, on some one attempt or another, may, later on, I'm gonna have to just go through and hit every frickin' brick in every single level just to make... just to see if we can find that one of those elusive uh, one-up mushrooms. They've gotta be out there somewhere. I know... I know that the sp at least the sprite exists, certainly. I'm positive that I've seen that one-up mushroom... 8-bit 1-Up Mushroom Sprite. It's just, uh... Where the frick are they? It's crazy. I've been saying crazy too much today. Or it's... <laughs> Here I am, like, going... Referring back to, like, my previous commentary on LPs I recorded earlier today. And actually going into, uh... Oh, was there a water level in 2-2? I guess I missed my count of water levels. Back when I was complaining about how there's only, like, two of them. I guess there's three. There's, like, one in 2-2, two, two, one in, like, I want to say five-something, and then one in, like, seven-something. And then one in, like, the one of the castles, I think, has one. So, okay, four water levels. So that sort of whole like, train of discussion on one of the previous videos was basically a bunch of crap. I mean, I'm sure that a lot of the stuff that I've been saying throughout this series is a bunch of crap, depending on who you ask, but, uh, yeah. And, I don't know, do I really want to go- I feel like- I feel like the reason why I've been doing less good, um, on some of the more recent attempts on this is, uh, not so much to do- or I think it's mainly to do with just I've been going through too fast, not taking time to collect coins, and not getting enough one-ups to really survive through to the later worlds. Because like, like I've mentioned, mistakes are potentially super punishing in this game. It's just like you, ho you hold down that jump button a bit too long, you hit, you hit that jump button like a fraction of a second too early or too late, and you lose a life. And that's like super... And that's like a really bad thing. You only have so many lives unless you're stopping to uh, get all of these coins. Or not all of them, but you know, enough of them to get um, frequent one-ups. So it's like, uh, yeah, that's really like their one-ups are your, yeah, extra lives are your lifeline in this game. So you, oh god, that fish almost screwed me over. I guess it, it didn't really. It was like one of those, another one of those situations where it's like, I expect to bump, get a big bump off the fish and lose my air control and get, you know, spring off it into a pit or something. But, uh, again, the, the game didn't quite behave in the way I expected off of that interaction. And, uh, to my benefit, I expected to die there, but the game did something else instead. And, uh, so yeah, we're still at that kind of level of, uh, understanding... God, are we... Okay, I, I, was, I wasn't expecting to make that jump either. I thought it was going to land right on the fire bar there. I feel like I'm in a good place mentally uh, right now for this run. It's not going to be the run, maybe, but I think maybe some progress on this run. I haven't made a soup... Taken a super long break. It's been, like, what, two or th two days, I think, since the last time I did a recording session. But um, I just finished off the last of the whiskey in the house. So, uh... Yeah, I, I don't know, I feel I, I have a really good feeling right now, probably as a result of that. But, um, I don't know, is alcohol the key? I f uh, maybe that was it, maybe that was the reason for our last string of failures, was just like I was losing my, I lost my buzz after a certain length of time. I'm probably, shit. Uh, God, I, I, okay, I'm gonna complain about something again. I dis, I mildly dislike the way the fireball works in this game. It feels inconsistent, like, I, not consistent, like, the way, the way it works, like, the bouncing is consistent, but it's like, uh, it doesn't reliably hit enemies. It's like you've got a line of, like, three or four, you've got, a, like, a line of three enemies in front of you, and so you hit the fireball button three times, expecting, shit, expecting to, uh, kill them with three fireballs, and, uh, you know, the fireball just bounces right over one of them, and that enemy hits you. And that's... shit. Okay. Okay. That worked out in our favor. Oh god, that bounce! Oh! 
I, uh, I should not even try to double bounce these stupid turtles. I just, like I said, my handle on the bouncing physics in this game, or the way that Mario reacts to bouncing off of enemies, I just don't have that down yet. It's just, yeah, there's no way I can consistently, like, double bounce winged turtles in this game. I just should not even try, just avoid them. Okay. Oh, is this one of those stupid levels where there's not a mushroom in, like, forever? Gosh. Oh, no, there's a mushroom right here. Or, hopefully. Pretty sure there's a mushroom right here. I think, I'm, yeah, I'm getting to the point where I'm, like, kind of starting to memorize the levels a little bit. Which is kind of... Which, again, kind of goes to show how full of shit I am when I talk about some of these things times. Like, I was talking about how the levels are so undistinct, I couldn't... I, I, I couldn't name, like, a distinguishing feature of any of them. And yet, yeah, it's like, we'll come up here, and then... So there'll be, like, a... Yeah, line of three Goombas, and then my invincibility wears off. Oh, and then that's the end of the level. Level ended a bit sooner than I thought, remember. But I, I definitely remember, like, that big stream where it's like, yeah, invincibility, three Goombas, and then invincibility wears off, and you gotta jump over the next one. Although that time, I'm actually getting fast enough, or it's like that time I actually did make it to the Goomba afterwards and still had my invincibility intact, so... Improvement! Hell yeah. Oh yeah, and, and, and oh, okay, I got way sidetracked. I was returning to Sonic again, just briefly. So yeah, in terms of, like, momentum-based... Like, uh, mascot platformers. Really, Sonic is kind of... And, and, like, really... With, like, really simple controls that are really super accessible. At least I think, depending on who you ask, super accessible. Um, like, what's the closest thing to Mario? In my opinion, probably Sonic. <laughs> That's just me. It's, like, compared to other platformers, at least. There's, like, certainly there's a lot of differences in, like, design philosophy, the way they control. There's a lot of... A lot of differences. I'm not saying they're like the same game or anything. It's just uh, you can definitely see where a lot of a, a lot of the a lot of Mario's influence, a, a lot of influence from the Mario games, I'll say, in the Sonic the Hedgehog games. You can clearly see that Sega was going for like something something very similar. Yeah, they you know they cut, they put kind of their own spin on it, so to speak. You know, spin as in like Sonic Spin Dash. It was like almost a play on words, kind of. Not really. Yeah, just take it slow. Take, take it slow. That's the other thing. It's like I was thinking, like, what am I going to do about that fireball? Do nothing. Just wait until you get the right timing. Coast is clear. It's like, yeah, why did I even Why did I even try to not jump over both of those at the same time? Actually, let, let's fireball kill this guy. We haven't done that. Oh, wow, his fire absorb- his fire is better than my fire. What a jerk. Wow, he is- okay, fuck this. Whoa! Wow, he got, like, really close there. That was, like, that was, like, the most aggressive frickin' Koopa I have ever seen. Wow. Oh, and we lost our fireball going into 4-1. That's bad. This is the Lakitu level, isn't it? Oh. Really want fireballs for this one. Is it the Lakitu level? It is, too. Shit. I'm actually... There, I, I've, I've got it. That, that's, like, one level I can, like... Oh, come into... <laughs> I'm becoming, like, that, that the speedrun guys I was talking about. And coming into 4-1, we've got the uh, Lakitu level. Like, I, I now know that. I, I, I can, like... And, oh, God, how is... How is... How much am I... How much am I going to, like... Am I going to become, like, a Mario guy after this? Am I going... Oh, gosh. Uh, okay, not... Okay, not at this rate. Okay, these spiny guys. It's like, it's like am I am I gonna like commit this game to memory like the way I have? Shit. Really, no mushrooms anywhere. That was a complete freaking waste of time. Oh my goodness. Oh well, we came in small, we leave small. Nothing lost really, except opportunity. And like I said, bounce and get all the coins. Anyways, yeah, that's yeah. I was ma mainly done talking about how. Yeah, it's like. Uh, it's like, yeah, what, what, I can't really think of another, like, 2D, like, mascot platformer that I would say is closer to Mario than Sonic the Hedgehog. There, you can see a lot of the influence there is kind of the point I was getting at. It's just that I think Sonic kind of refined the formula in a lot of ways. Made it, in a lot of ways, I think at least, although apparently many people disagree, a lot more accessible than the Mario games, whether with the ring system and even, even simpler controls, although... The, the physics are a little bit trickier, though, I'll uh, grant them that, but uh, it's, uh, you, it's, it gives you a lot of room to get the hang of it, although, uh, well, you know what, I'm getting, I'm getting way into too much detail with Sonic now, there's, uh, yeah, I'm thinking of stuff that I could, like, talk about in my inevitable, uh, 
S3 and K LP, so we'll save it for that. Um, and then I guess, and anyway, so yeah, it kind of makes sense how, personally, I think that Sonic is kind of a refinement of kind of that to Shit! Ah, I jumped a bit too high. No, I wasn't expecting to face plant into that stupid block. It's a kind of more refined than the original Mario for certain. I don't think that's a super controversial statement seeing as the game came out like five or six years later. It was just like a different time, a different console generation. So like, of course, of course it's going to be like a bit more polished, a bit more refined compared to any game of this era. What the? Wow, this is a... How would you get up there if you actually fell out? Or I guess you could jump back up and yeah. And and oh yeah, and that was that was the other thing I wanted to get about get into was uh yeah like a more fair comparison. If you really wanted to do like a fair comparison, like Sonic and Mario, you'd do like Mario Three or Mario World to the Sonic games, which are kind of more contemporary uh, with each other. It's just this is the game I'm kind of. This is for me at least. This is the most comparable one in terms of like it being. In terms of experience, like, a lot of people have that experience, the same experience with Sonic that I have with this game, so I thought, that that's what, to me, sort of makes me draw all those comparisons in this game. Not so much the fact that I think that, like, yeah, the fact that Sonic games are better than the original Mario proves that Sonic is better than Mario. That's not what I'm going for here. I, I just think it's... It, it, that was I, the thing I loved about that thread was just how almost perfectly analogous, like the stuff people were saying about Sonic the Hedgehog games was like exactly, exactly the stuff that I would say about the original Super Mario Brothers. And not only that, but they were like contrasting Sonic games with the original Super Mario Brothers and saying, "Well, Mario was this way, whereas Sonic was this way." And for me, it's like the exact opposite. <laughs> but I, I just thought that was really, a really, really amusing. And again, the thread was, uh, yeah, on the Talking Time forum. What was it? Oh, that that great title. Go, I'm sure I mentioned it in a previous video. Oh yeah, what, what motivates people to lie about the old Sonics? Oh god, I memorized the stupid maze too. I think this is the first time I've like gotten through the maze. Hey! Gotten through the correct path in the maze on my first try. Most of the time I go through this level and I forget that it's even a maze. Oh yeah, it's super easy. The thing that really makes these Koopa boss fights, quote-unquote, difficult is when you've got, like, that those overhead blocks and platforms, like, to hit your head on and make the jump more difficult. Like, I don't think he can jump. Like, even if he jumps, I don't think he jumps high enough to, like, to hit you out of a jump. So, like, if there's nothing to obstruct your jump, then you just jump over him and he can't stop you. In fact, yeah, that's probably the easiest boss in the game, actually. Or I think the first, very, no, actually, even the very first one has a moving platform. And again, if it, if that's actually the case, that the very first Koopa fight is just a moving platform above him, that just goes to show how I'm like, like I'll have this game memorized as well as I, I'll, I'll know this game as well as I know like the Sonic games by the time we're done this series potentially. Oh my God! I double bounced a Koopa. Holy dog shit! Wow. I'm getting, I wow. The whiskey must really be helping. Either that or the short time off, I suppose. Anyways, I wanted to talk about uh, kind of the way that Mario has changed over the years. Because Mario has... Or Mario did change quite a bit. Like, they... Ooh, fire flower, that's nice. Uh, in fact, yeah, let's, let's make this the run where we hit every single block. Although, I really... I don't know. Would they put a one-up in just, like, a random... Okay. Just a random block in the middle of, like, nowhere? Or, I mean, a random block in the middle of nowhere would be an obvious place for a one-up, but, you know, like, just a random block among a group of random blocks? Like, is that a place where they'd hide a one-up? It feels like you'd want to, then, like, a, like, up there. I bet you one of those is the bastard one-up block. Can I even get up there? It's not even possible. The, the one-up is hidden in one of those blocks, and it's not even possible to get up there. Why did they even bother putting it in there? This game's stupid. <laughs> okay. Like... Okay, let, let's let's do this. This is this will give me, and then I'll sort of start to get a sense of like where the game designers like to hide things. So okay, they like to hide things. I mentioned that in a previous uh, attempt, where they like to hide freaking power ups next to pits where they'll goddamn fall into if you miss them. Oh yeah, I, I talked about this in the uh, in the uh, in my Super Talking Time Brothers LP. 
where it, it to this day, I just see it strikes me as really, really strange and just oddly, it just kind of annoys me, the different behavior between the mushrooms in this game and the fire flowers. Look, the fire flower, and yeah, I'll just go into this again in case anybody hasn't seen that LP. Um, like, the mushroom is the power-up that you, like, really, really want. Like, I guess that's... Actually, that's another thing to talk about. It's, like, the fire flower is super-duper good in this game. There's, like, the difference between, like, being... B between no fire flower and, like, a fire flower is, like, insanely huge. In fact, I... And I, I always thought that was the case. It's just, like, enemies are just, like... Even, even apart... Even with, like, the caveats that you've got the annoying... Uh, you know, bouncing fireball to deal with, or sometimes it just won't hit the enemy because it bounces over them, and that's kind of stupid. Or it's not stupid, it's just, uh, you know, it happens to me a lot, and it's kind of annoying when you expect an enemy to die, but it doesn't. Okay, I expect it to, expect it to hop off that bullet, but just jumped over it, that's fine. Oh, shit. Oh. Something is up with these bullets. Okay, and I expected that turtle, I expected that double bounce off that turtle, but... Just nothing in this in this level went the way I expected it to, but it all worked out somehow. <laughs> okay, what was I on? The fire flower, OP, not OP, but you know, it's really really good. It's so many and like freaking Hammer Brothers. It's like Hammer Brothers are like a huge obstacle to the point where it's like depending on like that stupid Hammer Brother on the steps. It's like how do you even get past that stupid thing without either having a mushroom and tanking the hit or you uh, fire flower him. It's like Fire Flower is like the only way, I think, to like reliably get past that thing. Unless you're like some kind of Mario, like, super shit. Yeah, some kind of like Mario super shit. Okay, that was close. I wasn't... I would have said like 50-50 on... Whoa! Oh, oh, oh! Close call after close call. Like I said, just slow on the... Slow and steady on the fireballs. And this is gonna be tough. I think we want to go under... Oh, is he going to throw hammers? Okay, six is the one where they throw the hammers. Shit. I do not like this situation. Okay, but after the platform moves, we can jump over him. Damn it! Oh! Ah, that was a very loud damn it. I probably... Some neighbors probably heard that one. But... Oh, well. Okay, so we want to go fast. Get the right timing on the fireball. So as to get the... Fuck, come on. Come on! Okay, this time. Oh my god. I'm, oh, I didn't make it on top of the block? Okay, made it. Not on top of the block, but through the fire bar. Okay. And yeah, I guess at this we'll just uh, tank the hit to get past Bowser, maybe, if we have to. Although, I think, did I have the... Gosh. I gotta say, I actually really like the design of, like, the obstacles in uh, the Koopa, in the in the fortress levels, like the castles. Uh, it's just the fire bar. It's just, it like kind of adds a timer to like kind of uh, some of the situations you're in. It's like, oh my God, I gotta get, it's like you're, it's like it, you're like, you get through the fire bar and then you come up to something that either stops you cold or kind of makes you kind of reverse yourself a little bit. Ah, damn it. Oh well. And, uh, and then so you're on like kind of like a timer. It's like, oh shit, I gotta figure out how how to get through this like brief little speed bump before the fire bar gets me. And it's just I don't know. I it's it's a cool obstacle. I like it. Got him. Yeah, I, I'd say actually, yeah, for, for tr the castles they, they're really intense compared. Like yeah, I honestly still kind of find like these overworld levels kind of a little bit dull. Or I guess the the harder one like later on. I guess like we get to, like, the super difficult ones with, like, Hammer Brothers everywhere or whatever. Come on. Okay, there we go. And, yeah, probably wouldn't put a power-up that close to another power-up. Although, you, you never know. Like I said, I don't have, like, a much of a sense for where power-ups are. Why didn't I... I should just kill the Lakitu. Straight up. Oh, well. Okay, probably a power-up in one of these. The question is, is it worth going for? Yes. Okay, there we go. Fire flower. Okay, so... <laughs> okay, um, there were like all sorts of ways that I expected to die out of that, but, uh, made it out of there somehow. Okay, wow, world six, and what, we're at like three lives or something? I'm not doing bad on this run. 
Um, anyways, oh god, I'm like way, where, what were we back on? So Fire Flower, really good, and I was actually kind of felt vindicated. I always thought that the Fire Flower was like super duper good. The difference between having one and not having one, it's like night and day. You just like rip through enemies, even with the bouncy stuff, that's like something that happens once in a while. Most of the time you just kill the enemies, fireball everything, and it's just like enemies, not even a problem. There's a huge difference between Fire Flower and no Fire Flower, and I was, I felt really vindicated. I saw the, uh, on, when I saw the latest, uh, SGDQ run of uh, Super Mario. That last one up there, that's the one up. That's the one up. Nope. Okay. One of these, one of these guys is the one up. No, it isn't. These are too easy. Oh, but. Oh, that might be a warp zone. I don't want to. Yeah, I think. Is it a warp zone? I think there's. I'm pretty sure I remember one of the vines takes you up to a warp zone. Pretty sure I saw that in one of like the speed runs or the chassis or something. Anyways, uh, the SGDQ uh, runner was talking about how uh, mentioned like how yeah exactly what I said. Difference between fire flower and no fire flower, night and day. And he'd like come up to sections and be like, oh shoot, I took a hit. That's a huge deal because I don't have a fire flower for like upcoming section. And fuck, that is uh, oh well. Um. And yeah, I don't know, I just felt that was really cool. It's like, ha, huh, I do kind of understand this game. Although it's... And again, into that kind of good design, bad design thing. It's almost like... Like, like, like the problem that a lot of people have, and that I guess I also kind of have, with like, uh, a lot of Konami games, actually. Uh, Gradius and uh, Contra have this kind of a problem where, uh, yeah, it's like the, when you die, it's like super punishing because you lose all your power-ups, and then it's really, really hard to come back from that. Mario, it's not quite as bad, but it almost kind of feels like that, where it's like, I got this fire flower, yay, I can rip through everything, except then I fall into a pit, and now I'm worthless again, and now everything is super hard all of a sudden. And so it's like kind of like that feeling, where it's like, not quite as bad, yeah, in fact not nearly as bad as like Gradius or Contra, where it's like, oh, I died, I might as well restart the game because there's no way I'm getting through this with the uh, default pea shooter weapon. <laughs> or, uh, oh, Gradius, it was just abysmal because if depending on, uh, depending on the power collection of power-ups you had when you died, uh, you could potentially lose your speed up power as well, and like your default speed in Gradius is like super duper slow to the point where it's like not even possible to dodge a lot of enemy attacks. And it's like the first thing you need to do when you play Gradius is you get the speed up so it's actually actually possible to play the game. And it's like, and then you die and then you lose that, and it's and you're in a particularly tough section, and some of the checkpoints in that game are shit. And it's like, well, I died, basically a game over because there's no way I'm coming back from this. And it kind of not quite to that degree, but it almost kind of feels like, especially in certain sections, um, where it feels like, oh, I got, I lost the fire flower. How the frick am I gonna, shit. How the frick am I gonna deal? Like, especially in, yeah, these fortresses. It's like, oh my god, I lost my fire flower. How the hell am I gonna beat Koopa now? And that's like literally, literally what just happened. It's like, yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna be able to beat, uh, to beat Koopa now. Or unless as we got the... Shit, the hammers? No way. No way. Oh my god! Okay, run under him. I remember seeing that in the SGDQ run. They do it so easily, I don't know how. If he can, like... If he can actually... If they can actually do it on reaction, or if they just, like... Or if it's on, like, a... He's got, like, a predictable timing to his jumps. I don't know, I just... I cannot run under that guy on reaction. I just barely made it last time. And honestly, it was just kind of luck. I kind of guessed that he was gonna jump there, so I started a bit Ooh, early. Okay, slow and steady. Oh, this is not a good place. Ah, oh, shit, I screwed myself out of all those. Not even gonna go for him. Might be a fire flower, might not. God, God. I'm getting shot to pieces up in here. Okay, awesome. Whoa, okay. You gonna go for another one? There we go, I knew you, I knew you would. Whoa! Okay, Hammer Brothers would, like I was saying, would be nice to have a Fire Flower. Shit! Ow! Okay, and they commonly put mushrooms in these things, so... 
And yeah, the, the ability to tank a hit to get past an obstacle is like super. So it's like, there's like a huge benefit from getting a mushroom. Anyways, oh, oh, and that goes, and again, back up one level to the previous topic before the fire flower is uh, the difference between collecting a fire flower and collecting a mushroom. Like as much as the different, there's the big difference between like Mario's power level with the fire flower and uh, Mario's power level with shit, shit, shit. Ah, that started to run a bit too late. Uh, Mario's power level with the fire flower versus Mario's power level without it. There's like a similarly huge difference in power between small Mario and big Mario. And I mean, it's only instead of like an offensive capability. That's kind of cool. I don't know, cool bit of, I don't know what to call it. Shit! Oh, see, like this right here, this would be so freaking easy with a fire flower. But now, it's just like I said, it's like the freaking Contra thing. I'm just like gonna, I might as well have game over it as soon as I lost the power up. Not, not, it's not quite that bad. <laughs> so much for this, so much for a new record. Oh my god. And yeah, I'm in this situation where it's just like a continuous string of failures because I'm small Mario and small Wario, Mario is just worthless. I can't even take a hit to get past obstacles. It's like, oh, single hit kills. So freaking punishing. Okay. Although it's, it's mostly, okay, my own inaccuracy. Okay. Because, yeah, there, there was, I missed my attempts at killing those Hammer Brothers several times on my first, uh, first life through this. I'm not even gonna try for those lower ones. It's just, it's just gone. Okay, power up in there? No, this looks like the end of the level, so probably no power up. Shit! Okay. I don't know, can those bullets just not hurt you when you're in the air? So, okay, 7-2. Matching our personal best. Can we make it a bit further in the stage than we did last time? Hopefully. Oh no, 7-2 was the fucking water level. Nope, no way we're getting... No. Water levels especially, which makes no sense. You, I'm sure everybody's made this observation. Yeah, Fire Flower is, works best underwater. That makes... Yeah, video game logic. Her, her, her. Yeah, yeah. Uh, every, everybody's made that observation. But, uh... Shit, 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 shit. Oh god, there's so many enemies here. It's like a... It's a yeah, suddenly we're in like... Seriously. Seriously. Okay. I've learned, however, that they can't hurt you. At least I think I remember that from the last one. Yeah, if you're small Mario, they can't... Get over here! Okay, see, if, if he's just gonna left-right the whole time. So, left, right... Oh, oh, then you... Then now you're gonna right-right, you little piece of shit! Okay, I'm shocked that I survived that, but I'll take it. Fish and the bloopers. Oh, fuck this game. <laughs> oh my god. This is like the most intense shit. More bloopers. This is the most annoying enemy in video game history. Like, fuck Red RMR. This is a million times harder. They never threw- Okay, that's not actually true. In, in like, what, the next to last stage of uh, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, they actually do throw, like, three Red RMRs on the screen at the same time. <laughs> And actually, that game also had one-hit kills. <laughs> so, oh god. Get over here. And then, god damn it, get over here. It's weird, because their, their AI isn't consistent. It's, okay, <sighs> Okay, actually, this this will work to my benefit. No, it won't. He's coming back. Shh. Okay, fine, we're just gonna wait it out. <sighs> fuck this. Okay, now he's gonna lead me off. Oh my god, he's becoming intelligent. What the fuck is this? It's like, I feel like there's, like, a human being, like, controlling this thing. It's like I'm playing, like, Netrunner or something, and he's just like, this blooper is inside my head! It's like he knows what I'm going to do, and he's, like, making the perfect moves to stymie me. And now he's got a buddy! Okay, I jump. My jump button just stopped working there. Or there's a, there's a, what do they call it, thing that sucks you down, whatever. I don't think I'm ever going to make it past 7-2 without a Fire Flower. That's just it. The run is over if I don't have a Fire Flower going into 7-2. That kind of annoys me. Anyways, more on Mushrooms and Fire Flowers in the next uh, part, I guess. Oh well, off to a promising start. Hopefully we can actually make improvement this time on this play session rather than steadily getting worse. I guess we'll see going into the next one.